Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous couple of videos, we have covered that how we can access our local Node-RAID instance remotely over the public internet from anywhere in the world using different different application. So the application was local to net application, ngrock application and cloudflare tunnels. Okay, but in all those three methods, we have to download one software in our system. And then after we have to configure that software to access our local node RAID instance from anywhere in the world. But now in this video, instead of using ngrock application, instead of using local to net application, we are going to use the ngrock node RAID node in the node RAID to access our local node RAID instance remotely. Okay, so let's see how you can do that. So in this method, we are not going to install any application, but instead of application, we are going to install the package in the node red. Okay, so let me show you that. So here is my node red up and running. So to install the ngrock package in the node red, you have to go to the manage palette section. And here in the install section, you have to search for ngrock. And here you will find the first result node red contrib ngrock so this is the one you have to install in the node red and here you can see i have already installed it okay and you will find that node in the network section so here is the ngrock node so i'm going to drag and drop this in the flow editor now using this node we can access our local node red instance from anywhere in the world also if we want to access any other services which is running in my local host then also i can use this node to access that services from anywhere in the world so both the things are possible with this ngrock node red node now let me show you the diagram so this is the diagram so our local node red instance may be running in the raspberry pi linux operating system or windows operating system so we will install this ngrock node red node in that node red instance and then after we will configure this ngrock node to access our local node red instance from anywhere in the world and after accessing it we can monitor our data and we can you know control our equipments from anywhere in the world so let's see how you can configure it so we have already drag and drop this ngrock uh, node in the node red flow editor i'm going to add the debug node in the end to display the url okay using which we can access our local node red instance after that you have to double click on this ngrock uh, node and here you can see in the auth token there is no authentication token available so we have to add one so you have to click on this plus okay and here you have to provide the authentication token so where you will get this authentication token so you have to create the ngrock account on their website so here you can see i have already created the account i am logging into my account and after logging in you have to go to your authentication token section so here is that section so just click here and here is your auth tokens if you want to see that then you can see it okay and all you have to do is just copy it and provide that in the node red and just click on add and leave all the setting as it is and just press done and just press deploy button okay here you can see the ngrock node is in the idle condition okay we don't have any url to access our local node red instance as of now but to get the url you have to click on this button so once you click on this button you will have this url you can see okay and that url is also available in the debug window so here is the debug window and here is the url so i can copy this url i can go to my private window i can paste that url here and i can click on visit site and here is my public access of my node red local instance here you can see okay so this is what we have locally and this is what we have over the internet so you can use this url okay you can use this link in your cell phone in your tablet in your laptop in your desktop anywhere to access your local node red instance now if you modify something on your local node red instance then after this url will change so you have to use this ngrock uh, node when your entire application is done okay so if i add one inject node here okay and if i press the deploy button then you can see the ngrock node is in the idle condition so now the url got changed so what i have to do is i have to uh, inject this button again and you can see it is disconnected so you can only use it one time 
because there is a limitation of the free version in the ngrock so after that you have to close your node red and you have to rerun your node red and then you have to use this node to again provide access to your local node red instance to anyone from anywhere in the world okay so i hope this thing is clear but this is one of the good way okay and if your application is done and if you want to show your application to your client from a remote location then you can use this node to do that okay so i hope this thing is clear so all you have to do is you just have to go to the manage palette you just have to search for ngrock here okay you have to install that ngrock node you have to drag and drop this node in the flow editor you have to uh, provide your authentication token here okay and once you provide your auth token you have to select the protocol http okay then after you have to select the port and the host so port is my local node red port okay which is 1880 okay in the host i have provided the local host because my node red instance is running in my local host 127.0.0.1 so i hope this thing is clear and if you still have any questions or any doubt then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere okay otherwise we will meet you in the next video and in the next video instead of this ngrock node we are going to use the local tunnel method to access our uh, local node red instance remotely from anywhere in the world we have already created one video regarding this local tunnel software okay uh, basically it's a node package okay so you have to install this package in your system using npm package manager and then after you can use it to access your local node red instance from anywhere in the world so that thing we are going to cover in the future videos but i hope this video is clear that how you can use this ngrock node to access your local node red instance from anywhere in the world and if you encounter this error then you have to stop the node red you have to restart the node red and then after you can inject this button and then after you have one new link which you can use to access your local node red instance from anywhere in the world okay so let's meet in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you